Hi Internet, it's MaggieBot here to change the entire format of my channel. Yeah. So, uh, as you may or may not have noticed, I hope you did, I have not been able to do full walkthrough reviews as often as I would like. I used to try at least every two weeks, and now it's looking like once every three months. So, we're going to switch over to a board game vlog style, um, daily or semi-daily, just casual conversations with my webcam that don't take much editing, so I can just sit down for an hour and chat with you and then, you know, hound the comments. <laughs> but um, I think it's a cool idea. I love vloggers. I watch a lot of Chris Perillo, and I don't actually know of any board game vlogs, like daily vlogs, so if you do, please put them down in the comments for me. I'd really like to check them out. Um, but otherwise, I will continue talking about games I play and strategies and upcoming things. And I should have some previews coming out. Uh, I've got a copy of Oddball Aeronauts I'd like to talk about. And I have, uh, uh, da, 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 da. I think I've got the spoils, the new player pack coming. So I've got things, I've got stuff to talk about. And I really miss chatting with you guys. And I have an awesome group of people who subscribe and talk to me a lot. So here I am. <laughs> uh, if this will not work for you. Feel free to unsubscribe, but I will make it where all my full walkthroughs are a playlist, and you can just subscribe to that if you want. Um, otherwise, yeah, so this week I bought a few games, but the two that I really love and I got on the table a lot, I got Sail to India. Uh, this is three to four players from my EG. Uh, it's Hisashi Hayashi, who I don't know if you guys know, but I am obsessed with Stringer Railways. I think it's just the funnest game ever. So this is same dude, and I wasn't a huge Trains fan because it's very deck buildery. Um, and then this one is kind of an exploration type game. You start with a bunch of face down cards and you move along one by one until you have revealed or gotten to India. Um, restrictive, interactive, revelous exactly what I like in a little itty bitty box. It even has an insert, so this is not even, it could be even smaller than this, but this fits in a purse and it doesn't open very easily, so it doesn't spill out everywhere. Um, one of the other ones, this is great, this is Rudiger Dorn's Istanbul. So this is nominated right now for the Kinnerspiel, which is the Spiel de Ares Kinnerspiel Heavy Games. So this is kind of like a Gateway Plus type game. It's pick up and deliver. You have a merchant and you're running around town collecting rubies, but everywhere you go you have to have assistance, so you run around dropping off your assistance and then going back and picking them up. Uh, so far I'm undefeated in my two games, so I kind of can never play again, <laughs> but uh, I've had a lot of fun with it. It definitely deserved some sort of recognition, though I think Rococo may take the Kinderspiel and is a little more original. Uh, Rococo just has such cool style. Ha! Jokes, because it's about dresses. Um, other than that, uh, for Kickstarter stuff, um, Copper County just closed, uh, Block Party just closed, uh, Yardmaster just closed, and the big thing right now is Historia, and I don't, I don't get it. It came up on a Twitter conversation this morning, and it's 80 bucks for what I feel looks, sounds, and acts drab and swingy because you got like six card decks that all just seem crazy overpowered and it might just be that I don't like Civ Builder. That's that's very, very possible. So I will reserve that one until it comes out in stores because it's fully funded now. So that's fantastic. Good for them, but not for me. Uh, Harbor did really well this week. It's like a $20 Taste of Minstrel game. It's going bananas. Um, and then Tiny Epic Defender is, you guys should go check this out. It's a game one game. They, of course, and you, as you saw in my last video, because you watched them all, uh, they came out with a follow-up to Tiny Epic Kingdoms, which was co-op. They sent out a bunch of prototypes to some smaller reviewers, like yours truly. It was a contest, and it was fantastic. But I said, the game is good. It's not really winnable. It's not super great. And I got on there with some of my issues, and the creator of the game watched my video and answered my questions and assured me that they fixed a lot of what I had issue with, which I think is fantastic. Good on them. That game, like, Game on Games is just, they're kicking it out of the park, or knocking it out of the, uh, sports. Um, 
But either way, they're fantastic, and I really look forward to what they continue doing, and I hope they go into some more complicated games. I'd like to see something with a little more meat to it, but that might not be their thing, and I won't, I'm, I'm not going to stress on it. Uh, as far as my weekend coming up, so today's Friday, and on Sunday there's a board game swap out here near Seattle in P Yallop, P Yallop. I can't say it, but I am trying to sucker someone into giving me El Grand. I want it. I want it so bad. So I'm offering, you know, the sun and the stars. I will bring any game in my collection other than, like, Dominant Species or Roads and Boats. And I will certainly be on the look for casher, casher uh, trades for that. Uh, I'm looking at Portobello Market and a couple others from a gentleman. And I'm looking forward to just kind of meeting new people. I might cower in a corner for a little bit, but I'm bringing Rococo and Lagoon to play. Should be a good time. I'm 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 excited because I normally just I'm not one to trade. I play a lot of Magic, but I just buy what I want. So it'll be fun to try and get get rid of some of the games that I didn't love uh, or my playgroup didn't love, like uh, Homesteaders. My poor Homesteaders is is going away, and Merchants and Marauders, and Eclipse, and I'm bringing some big title games, so I'm hoping that people don't just bring Flash that they found at, you know, Trade Sales or Value Village or something. I'm hoping for good stuff. Uh, keep my fingers crossed, and hopefully I will come back with a copy of El Grand, and you guys can, can be very jealous of me because I've been dying, dying to play and have that game for a really long time. So... Good luck to me, good luck to you, and thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any follow-ups in the comments, and I'll see you guys later.